the first Sunday in Lent. Year C. From the Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was led by the Spirit in the wilderness, where for forty days he was tempted by the devil. In the name of that same Spirit, who with the Father and the Son lives and reigns, now and forever. Amen. Notice that it is the Spirit that leads Jesus into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Jesus' temptation gives us three hints about what the Spirit might be up to in this. The first hint is identity. The devil keeps taunting Jesus with, if you are the Son of God, questioning the belovedness that has just been proclaimed to Jesus in his baptism. And as the people present their first fruits, Deuteronomy bids them proclaim their identity with both Abraham, that wandering Aramaean, and the people Moses had led into the wilderness. Paul very deliberately weaves Gentile believers into this identity as a people whom our psalm describes as bound to God in love. In Lent, we too go into the wilderness of body, mind, or spirit in order to confront and claim our identity, setting aside the practices and possessions we habitually use to pretend to ourselves and to others that we are someone other than who we are. Such confrontation is dangerous. And we get our second hint in Jesus' exposure to hunger and high places, not to mention moral peril in his own time of temptation. The Spirit knows that temptation presents us an opportunity of choosing what is good and right for us, but that we can only make that choice if we trust the God who tells us we are beloved. So it is that we remind ourselves that the Lord has heard our voice and seen our affliction, our toil, and our oppression, and has brought us out of our own personal Egypt. The Lord is our refuge and our stronghold, the one who is with us in trouble, the one who rescues us and brings us to honor. No one who believes in him will be put to shame. Finally, we get our third hint in Jesus' return to Galilee afterwards to begin teaching and preaching in the synagogues. Jesus thus goes into the land God has given him as an inheritance to possess. He settles in it and gathers in the people his harvest. So may we do also, seeing ourselves as God sees us, and tending to the soil both of our souls and of our communities. For this is the way our Savior has walked before us, and this is the way of our salvation. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.